believe it or not, the most polarizing topic around the San Francisco 49ers is not quarterback for once, but it's wide receiver. And of course, if you are around the San Francisco 49ers, uh, you're going to be asked about your thoughts on the whole wide receiver trade and no trade and drafting a first round draft pick and a fourth round wide receiver. And when I say drafting a first round draft pick, clearly, I mean wide receiver in Ricky Pearsall. Um, so no different than Steve Young joining KMBR when they asked him about what, what do you make of all the rumors and all the, the information and Kyle and John Lynch saying that they're not closing the door on any potential trade and all those different types of things. And uh, Steve gave a pretty interesting answer, but I'll, I'll let you take a listen for yourself about what Steve Young thinks about all the smoke around the wide receiver position for the San Francisco 49ers. Take a listen to what he has to say right here. Um, Steve, so you mentioned the Lamborghini talent, and that leads to a burning story in Ninersville. Our mutual friend Mike Silver is repeatedly reporting that the Niners have been shopping Brandon Ayuk, and then he shifted and said they were shopping Debo Samuel. Right. There were rumors right. yesterday the Steelers were heating up with him or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm talking about that Lamborghini talent. My question to you is, if they did move one of those guys, does that damn does that put a dent in the Lamborghini and you're not allowed to or you're not you're you can't be the full form of who you would be? Well, I mean, it's a precursor to the inevitability, right? That we can't keep everybody. We just now we can this year, so that's where people are like, "Hey, wait, I can, <laughs> I can deal with this, but I'm not going to deal with it until I have to." And uh, I think that um, what we look the league today, quarterback number one, offensive line, corner, like and an edge rusher. So there's four spots that you have to be like elite at. And um, hopefully in the draft, we kind of got a better corner. We can maybe think about it that way. But we have great linebackers. We can try to make up for it. We have the elite. Uh, edge rusher it's offensive line so you say to yourself okay we we ricky comes in now and does something that is really cool because as tom brady just said to me and i'm repeating back the middle of the field is unpatrolled and so that's why travis kelsey's dominating in there there's like people just like making hay like never before and so in many ways ricky's going to be that guy but then we already have that we have, we already have that guy so we have an extra guy so you can make an argument that we have an extra guy if ricky's going to come in and be as good or near good as as those two guys can we use three of them well yeah and that gives you know kyle that much more flexibility um you can save yourself by october and ricky's fully in integrated into the system there might be too many people with george you know, and Christian, and then how, you know, John, like you've got a lot of guys. And so what didn't we did get better at? Hopefully we will get better at offensive line. You saw it in the Super Bowl. You saw it towards the end of the season. That's the thing that's going to be a big difference maker. So more so than even at receiver, I think that offensive line beats receiver as far as importance in what you have to have in the league. Uh, and so those are all kind of pieces of it. So when you say, to, are we going to shop? If you got two number ones for one of those guys, would you do it? I mean, you got to think about, you know, in the future, we're going to need cheaper talent, super talent, when Brock gets paid and other people get paid, that we can, you know, we have these super, you know, guys on rookie contracts, we can stay great. So there's some forward thinking. I know there's a lot of emotion about it, but we, we have the riches now at receiver. Do we, when do, when do we strike? And it really depends on how much people are willing to pay. You can see if no one comes up with something amazing, that's going to be amazing for the 49ers in the future, we're not thinking about it. But we're open to it in case something crazy comes forward and if something crazy does come forward you can't knock them for thinking about in those in those terms so that we can have more great talent on rookie contracts so we can keep attacking the super bowl so i actually had to listen to this clip a couple times to try to really pinpoint what steve is trying to say here because it feels like he's not trying to say anything specific <laughs> but kind of talking about the situation and the question that was asked to him now he goes on this kind of, you know, conversation about the, the top, you know, positions of value and being offensive line. And did the 49ers really address their offensive line? They took Dominic Pooney uh, out of Kansas in the third round, probably going to be an interior guy. Um, but, you know, he's kind of just talking about those positions and who the 49ers currently have. And then. He finally gets himself to the wide receiver spot and basically is like, 
I don't really look at the wide receiver position as one of those premier positions on a roster. And they have a basically uh, abundance of them. Um, with Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, Jawan Jennings, Ricky Pearsall, uh, now Jacob Cowing. Uh, you still have Danny Gray on the roster, Chris Conley. Uh, I mean, they've, they've got a decent amount of wide receivers. Uh, Trent Taylor recently added. Um, so there's a good amount of wide receivers. And he's basically saying that that's not like really a premier position. And, you know, it, it, right now you've got Debo Samuel highly paid, Brandon Ayuk highly paid. So the way that I'm kind of interpreting what Steve Young was saying was uh, kind of like, you know, at some point something's going to shake, uh, whether it's next year or what have you doesn't mean anything's going to happen this year but uh, effectively saying like something's going to shake in that wide receiver room between brandon Ayuk, debo samuel jawan jennings whatever it is um something's going to eventually happen uh because you know you can't pay everyone you got a big quarterback contract coming up next year with brock purdy and, um, you know, you, you drafted a uh, wide receiver in the first round and a wide receiver in the fourth round. Um, so there's probably a good chance that the 49ers are thinking a little bit ahead uh, when making these moves. And so just kind of listen to Steve. It feels like he he I don't think he knows what's going to happen, but he does understand that something will happen. And it, it's just a matter of when it will happen right i think that's my takeaway it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when um from my understanding this is the last year of uh, guaranteed money on debo samuel's contract obviously um the hope is is that brandon Ayuk gets inked to a big time contract and then Jawan jennings currently hasn't signed his uh tender so um whether he's looking for a new deal or what is going to remain to be interesting so i don't know what was your what was your takeaway of what steve young had to say uh in regards to all this smoke that everyone loves talking about um but again when when guys like this are talking about it i think it's worth sharing so uh let me know what do you guys think of what steve young had to say about the current state of the San Francisco 49ers wide receivers, let me know in the comments below. And please don't yell at me. And make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.